I'm about to watch the Balenciaga show, the pre-fall 2024 show. And I know it's what all the fashionistas are talking about because it just aired a few days ago. I really want to do a reaction video to me watching it live. Well, not live, but for the first time because I was so disappointed with the Spring Summer 2024 show that I want to actually do a reaction video as I'm watching the pre-fall 2024 show. So let's get started. Attention Brain, this is your heart speaking. And I've got a message for you. You know, we've been through a lot together. Good stuff, bad stuff, and occasions. It's outside with the Hollywood sign in the background. I'm liking the uh, venue. First look. The first look is clearly about the shoes, which I'm not a big fan of those Balenciaga sneakers, to be honest. Because all he's wearing is a pair of gym shorts, <laughs> sneakers, and holding a phone. Is that a look? Am I paying a lot of money for that? I don't think so. <laughs> look, I'm not buying this shit. I am not buying overpriced athletic wear. You can put together these looks at Target. <laughs> and they would look just the same. And I can't even imagine what the cost is of what it is that they are putting down the runway. I'm so confused. What is happening to this brand? Teach you how to meditate, to forgive, and be at peace with your inner self. So, what are you waiting for? Many station. Like, I can't. I'm just not buying this shit. Are you paying for this? I want to know in the comments, please. I want to know who's paying for this. I need to know. So far, the only innovative items that I've seen are like the moon boots with stiletto heels with really you know skinny heels outside of that I'm not seeing anything new or inventive or creative yeah it looks like what everyone is wearing walking down the street fine that's the way you want to go. But I am not seeing any pieces that I'm like, I've got to have it. I mean, we're talking beanies, oversized shorts, like oversized gym shorts, oversized jackets, hoodies, sweatshirts. I'm not, I'm not. I'm just not getting the vibe. I, I'm not getting it. Maria Collins got the only outfit so far that I would wear. It's a really cool leather jacket with these really sleek leather pants. Everything else, I'm gobsmacked. <laughs> That's the only word I can come up with. Like they took Uggs and oversized them and like nothing is new. Nothing feels new. And we're going to talk about these shopping bags at the end. Because if you haven't heard about the shopping bags, we're going to talk about them at the end. Just layer, layer, layer. They're just layering pieces like skirts over pants, over a hoodie, over a this, over a that. Okay, here comes some killer sky shoes. She can barely walk in. 
They're like Rick Owens, but not as cool. Now we're coming to the more structured, sleek pieces. A little more what Balenciaga is known for. You know, structured suits. They do have like a full length skirt and like a nubby wool. Like this is more my vibe. That oversized. And then and then there was only a few of those looks. Which is a shame. And even those few looks weren't blowing my mind. This is a hot mess. We're coming towards the end here. About five more minutes to go out of this 17 minute video. Okay, so get you some opaque tights and a long sleeve bodysuit. Put on some stilettos. There's your look. Balenciaga. We're coming to the black section. Which, I mean, Balenciaga, black, kind of goes together. Yeah, I heard Cardi B was in it. She's doing the finale piece. It looks like, oh no. Okay, she's just wearing a big fuzzy blue coat. Is that fashion? I do like this big white fuzzy coat dress. White coat dress. I do like that piece. That was a vibe. That was a something. Okay, a sweetheart spaghetti strap sequin gown with a train that's way too long she's carrying. I'm just not feeling anything new and fresh. That's what it is. I'm missing something that's fresh. The finale look was something. I mean, it at least gave <laughs> something that was outside the box. All right, here's my final thoughts. Although <laughs> I think uh, you kind of get the gist of where I'm gonna go with my final review on it. Um, you know. I I, what can I say? I mean, it, it's, I just feel like for the price point that they are going to charge you for these really basic athletic wear pieces that you can get from any brand at any price point, I just have a hard time swallowing the fact that you're putting that down the runway. Like, when I saw the spring shows and they had bathrobes, like I, I just, I'm just not understanding where they're trying to go with that. And again, at that price point, I want something spectacular. I don't want gym shorts for four hundred dollars or whatever the cost is going to be. So. Again, I, I don't know the cost, but I will say this. I did hear about Kim Kardashian. Uh, Women's Wear Daily did a whole article um, on the collection, and they had talked about Kim Kardashian being at the show, of course, because everybody's going to talk about Kim when she's anywhere. So the creative director did give her one of the shopping bags, and it looks like a grocery bag that she wore to the show 
And what they had said was that this average grocery bag that Kim happened to fill with roses that she was going to give to Gemma after the show. But anyway, they said that this basically it's a grocery bag is a thousand dollars I'm gonna say it a thousand dollars I'm gonna say it again a thousand dollars for a grocery bag like are you paying that I, I, I'm I'm baffled I, I'm just confused you know when, and that's not to say that like other designers haven't done some innocuous like little basket bag or something but that's special you know what i mean you're talking about a thousand dollar tote bag that you're gonna have just because it's balenciaga like i i don't know if you want to spend your money like that go for it but i cannot imagine purchasing like any of these hoodies or athletic wear pieces at that price point i would love to know your thoughts please leave a comment let me know are you a balenciaga fan is it something that you collect you know because there are people out there that will buy a designer just because it's from that specific designer um but i would love to know your thoughts are you going to go out and purchase some of the new collection and if so what pieces are you gonna buy i'm interested to know but that's my two cents on it um yeah, uh, I, I actually <laughs> think that the Cynthia Rowley show that she just put out her spring 2024 collection on YouTube, which is like a 24 second video, is a hell of a lot better. Go watch that. Save your 17 minutes. I reviewed it for you so you don't have to. <laughs> Go watch the 23 second or 24 second Cynthia Rowley collection you'll be way more inspired it'll be way more interesting and way more fun all right wrapping it up you guys and until next time you better Belize it you hear that rain out there that's Belize rain <laughs> bye